you're looking for a job here in New Bern, North Carolina, this place is hiring. A smile is required. Now, if I want to apply, I think I have a pretty good smile because I've had extensive plastic surgery. Extensive. I know you're gonna dig this. Get, get, fu get funky with me. Welcome everyone. It's Friday, February 11th, 2022. Scott the Woo here. Wait, what? What do you... I thought you were out of your shot, man. Are you taking my name? I'm taking it all. <laughs> Did I look awkward up on the side of this little nope. berm? You look perfect. This you... is a berm, but we're in New Bern. Not a, it's not an old berm. This is the New Bern. But this is a berm. A berm. Is this what it's called? That's a yeah, berm? It's a grassy hill. Kind of like a no. This is what you get from hanging out with Adam the Woo. Knowledge. And knowledge equals power. Did Scarface say that? I don't know. Or First she, you get the money, then you get the power. <laughs> First you get, then you get, get the women. Yeah, then you get the women. That has none of that's happened to me no, yet. We're not going we're not doing Scarface. We're here in New Bern, North Carolina. We're doing a whole bunch of stuff. You're gonna have a Pepsi? We're gonna have a Pepsi. Adam's doing a big video from here. I'm going to basically today, we're doing a whole bunch of videos together next week. We're gonna do different topics. Are we? I think so. Yeah, I'm coming with you everywhere you go. Okay. Okay. And today I'm just going to follow around around Adam, bask in the woundness of him, learn, enjoy, <laughs> smell every, <laughs> everything. Besides the sounds, yeah. the smells. New Bern's pretty cool. So this is not a typical video for me that I haven't done one of these in a while. I just walk around, but I want to do it because Adam's the best at it. Look at that. You can see right, right into him, right into his soul. Don't get shot in the left eye. No. Remember, silver bullet. Did you watch that video yesterday? Come on. Huh? All right. I thought you were talking about the cinematographer from Maximum Overdrive. No, I'm talking about my my video first. Oh, that's true. Yeah, come on. I forgot you did one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dagger to the heart. Oh! If you look right there, New Bern, that means bear. We're in bear country. There are over 60 bear statues, and I'm going to find all 60 of them. That's my goal, because if you've watched my channel before, you know I'm fascinated by two things. Well, actually everything. Something could blow by right now, and I'd be fascinated by it. But bears and alligators. So even fake bears I want to see, because nothing's funnier than fake bears. Ask Christopher Walken. Look, there's Adam. He's a fast walker. Looks like there's a little showing of Mark Twain live. I don't believe that's the real Mark Twain playing himself, but I think it might be Mark Hamill. How cool is that? Oh, it's Bill Hand. So like I said, I'm just kind of walking around this small town, enjoying Adam's company, and we are going to the birthplace of Pepsi, and it's right there. It was originally called Brad's Drink. There's a pharmacy here, and he created Brad's Rink, which was marketed as Pepsi Cola after 1898. Right this way. Now, Adam, did you just say that this is not the original building? Burned down. The original burned down. Burned with a B E R N? Burned. It was, a, down? it was an old burn, not a new burn. Right. They built this one a long time ago, but it's not the original building. However, Mr. Bradham was on this site, and that's where he made the elixir, Brad's drink, named for his last name, Bradham. And then a couple years later, came Pepsi Cola. Changed it to Pepsi Cola. Because right. One of the ingredients was a name that was similar to the word pep Pepsi. There's probably more information. In yeah, that. I bet. Because I actually said that this is the original building just a second ago, and. Adam has now clarified that. See, I just make up stuff and I pretty much lie. But I'm more of a Coke guy. Coca Cola. That explains the energy and waking up so early. I think we have our first bear sighting. Oh no, it's a dog. It's a dog. It looks like a bear. It's as big as a bear. 
boy. And that's the man himself. He made Pepsi. There he is. Line of history here. Caleb Bradham changes the name of his carbonated soft drink to Brad's Drink. Okay, that was in 1898. So a couple years before that, prior to that, it was called Brad's Drink. And then it just progressed. They show it here to 1903. 1905, he established to license the bottle over in Durham. It's interesting, I passed through Durham the other day. Right. I have a Durham t shirt on. What a coincidence. That was completely unintentional. But it kind of works. That out. is crazy. Going through 1923, Pepsi Cola went to declare bankruptcy. But we all know how that worked. Yeah. Out. It went well. And look, it was advertised as a pure food drink that is delicious and healthful. Oh, right there. Look, yeah. he's, he's pouring an icy cold <laughs> he's Pepsi a, Cola. He's about two years old. Having some Pepsi Cola in the morning. That's <laughs> that most, you probably, yeah. Someone that youthful probably should not be having caffeine. Oh no, back in those days, when you were two, you started off the day with a Pepsi Cola and a cigar. That's how it That's went. That's how it worked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A stogie? Yep. That's right. Come on. <laughs> Come on, give it to me. How you doing? Good, how are you? Smells like a movie theater in here. Yes, pizzeria. Shout out Frank Vettiers in Toronto. If anybody remembers that place. The current Pepsi formula is a revised version of the revised version of the original. See, I just ran into a chair with my big clown feet. Normally, I would cut that out, but I'm just enjoying the day, filming. What I want to film, what I was filming. Look at that. Caramel burnt sugar color, 12 gallons. How much Pepsi are they making? Mix, stir two hours, boil sugar and water. That's it. Copy that down, people. Start your own. Add something different to it. Add a little turpentine. Give it a different kick. There you go. You'll be a millionaire. This is the original floor. They salvaged this. They got the floor. And what's, what's your name? No, what's your name, man? Evan. Evan? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Evan. No, her name. Going through like the years of all the different versions here. Oh yeah, look at even up there. There's more. Wow. And if this is this is pretty cool. Yeah. This is a lot smaller than World of Coke in Atlanta. It's wow. kind of it's kind of almost like exploring your grandparents' basement. You know what I mean? There's so much. We find old bottles and all that stuff. There's like more of a gift shop on this side. Oh, look at this. This is awesome. A lot of Pepsi products here. Yeah, Get busy. Get busy and drink Pepsi Cola. Get, Get busy. busy drink. <laughs> <laughs> Japan, Turkey. Shout out to Gapio. It's my buddy back There's home. A lot of different Russian, Afghanistan. Wow. Wow, uh, that's pretty. Oh, here we go. It'll tickle your innards right there. Look at that. Mm. Mountain Dew. It'll, that used to be the slogan, and this was the mascot there. Out there on the, on the in the hills of the mountains, they've they've adopted. That's the guy. That's the slogan. That's yeah. him. That used to be it for Mountain Dew back in the day. Wow. I do love some Mountain Dew. And I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go. I with used to have this can, and I threw away all my can the collection. The Woodstock '94 can. Was that the Limp Biscuit tour? Was no, that was break stuff. That was nineteen. That was '99. That was not okay. I get, I get 90, my '90s. '94 was the calm one, and '99 was the one that just went crazy haywire. Red Hot for 68, right there, all the different. That's right, Pepsi. Michael did promote Pepsi. He, there was the commercial at Warner Brothers that he did. And he burned his hair. Had, that had, what's his name in it? Who else? Alfonso Ribeiro. That's right. Yeah. And don't forget. You are very knowledgeable. He, well, about. Uh, when it's about Michael, for sure. And don't forget, that's the same one, like I just said, where he, they burned his hair on set. That was the one. Yeah, and you can find that footage on YouTube, so. The fact that you know that amazing. <laughs> like, if I brought that up to anyone else, I'd be like, cool. <laughs> that's a Jackson's, and I was, that's, 
the Jackson, I think the World Tour 84, so that would be the Victory Tour, I think. That would be the Victory Tour, which was my first concert ever. I was on my father's shoulders. Great memories. Beverage openers, can openers. It's interesting filming this on the opposite side, listening to Adam talk. He's very knowledgeable about all, about so many different things, and he's very off the cuff, and he finds, for someone who's been doing it as long as Adam has, I can tell you, he enjoys it so much, and it's amazing to see. He loves everything he sees, and it's a great thing to see, because it can get tiresome on the road, and it, you can get burnt out, but when you get to the location that you're trying to film that day, you can't, tur you can't fake enthusiasm. I mean, some maybe do. I can tell you, Adam does not. He is mesmerized and fascinated by everything, which is really cool to see. Look at these Mountain Dew bottles. Did you see these? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's wild. There's a whole Mountain Dew section here. This beats the Mothman Museum. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry Burst Pepsi, Raging Raspberry, and then there's Cajun Pepsi. All oh, the old, all this is the Christmas part. Look at that. How cool is that? We are going to be going to the grave later on of the creative Pepsi, Caleb Bradham, and we're going to have ourselves a Pepsi there later. And if you're watching my video and you haven't seen Adam's, I highly suggest you watch the rest of my video and then go on over and watch Adam's video. I wasn't planning on making a video today, so it's nice to uh, just kind of wander around. I'm not doing my usual mumbling, making fun of everything, because I'm actually fascinated by this. I love old stuff like this, and Adam knows all about this stuff. It's great. This old, what do you call this? With cooler, I guess. But yeah, pick yourself up a Pepsi or Mountain Dew in a bottle. Tickets one dollar. Benefits the local Parkinson's community, and you could win this bike. That's very cool. Brad's drink. One thing that's really good about it is it would refresh you without filling you up. Mm. So if you didn't want something that was filling, you could go with an ice cold Pepsi. And I'm also going to get myself this magnet, as well as the, the cola and the soda pop. I'm going to get this magnet for my fridge at home. So I'm collecting magnets. Very cool. Here's a little apron. Cooking. Yeah. You can have that. The birthplace of Pensacola. utensils down inside of there. What, uh, what uh, city am I thinking of in Connecticut? I keep, when I say New Bern, I want to say Connecticut right Newburn, after. Connecticut? I think there's a new, new something Connecticut. There's a new something Connecticut. And, and, I, and I keep wanting to say New Bern, Connecticut. It just rolls off your tongue easily. Yes. Like North Carolina. That's where we are? Yep, we're in North Carolina right now. Keep this is more than 12 ounces. This thing is, let me just, let me look, look how tall that is right here. We've signed the book. Up to 1923, a Caleb Bradham, the inventor of Pepsi Cola, leased the first floor as his second storefront. Right here. Now we weren't even looking for this. We just nope. walked past it. We have calculated the address of where the first bottling plant was, and we're going to walk over there and show. Maybe it's an empty lot. Maybe it's homes. Who knows? But I want to see it. It's inside of his second pharmacy, and they've got some some of those same lights, and there it is, a big mural, and it smells great in so, here. So uh, we are going to the grave, but as I said, I want to see some bears, and here's a fire bear. That's not smoky, but that's a bear, right there. We're trying to find the actual spot of the Pepsi factory that burned down so I'm one of these corners but here it says the old schoolmaster's house and we were told that a house is built on the property house there house there 
but building there, and that building's been there since 1948. If you're new to my channel, I do cover a lot of uh, famous graves, and I have a, um, I think a lot of my subscribers watch me for the grave videos, and so this is a little bit different, and it's weird because somebody else is driving me around today. But we're here at the cemetery, Cedar Grove Cemetery, here in New Bern, and this is where Caleb Bradham is buried, the creator of Pepsi. And normally I show the front gates, I like to show the drive in, do a whole thing, I set it to music, because it's very important to me to honor the people that I visit. It's something that I take very, very seriously on my channel, because it's, it, not only if it's a famous person, or if it's uh, somebody who's, let's say, not famous, a regular person, and that sounds weird, but not famous, it's somebody's life. And every life is equal and every life is important. So I always, I, I take it very seriously when I visit cemeteries. Having a lot of fun in town. And here we are at the grave. This is exciting. And we're gonna pay our respects. Take a look at these gates. Pretty cool. Normally I'd have music over, so you're kind of seeing a different side of how I film things. And I like to show the entire way, usually, how I get to the grave and how we find it. Adam's in the car right now putting in the coordinates so we can get to his grave. But yeah, I'm going to go like this over to this side. Somebody's going to tell me the name of the, what type of trees these are. I'm not too sure. Very, very cool. All right, let's find Hi. Caleb. Adam, as we're walking to the grave, we're not exactly sure. We're just kind of guessing based on things in the background. Yeah. Right? Some investigative photos we found online. Hmm. To out where it is. You can verify for my viewers that it's not easy always to find a grave as people think it is. Even if we have the proper coordinates, it could be a bit of a hunt. Oh, there's even it says the inventor of Pepsi Cola right here. And Caleb and his son shared the same middle name also. Wow. Caleb D. Senior and Caleb D. Jr. Interesting. Wild. Only two bottles, but we figured out exactly where it was with this home here, here on the far end by another big building with some pillars on the front porch. We're looking to come out and pay your respects to the inventor, the creator of Pepsi Cola, passed on in 34, back, born back in 1867. We lived 33, 34. We just opened our cans of Pepsi. We got black cherry Pepsi. Adam, what do you think of it? It's different. It's cough syrupy almost, a little medicinal, but yeah. it's good. Yeah. It's good, but it has it's not like wild cherry Pepsi for sure. No, definitely not. Cheers, man. Here's Caleb, right, right here. It definitely has like a medicine-y taste. Yeah. It. It's the first thing I got out of it. It's the first flavor. version of the cherry does. Yeah. Made with real sugar. Probably tastes more similar to how Caleb's version yeah. probably tasted, which had that medicine-y taste, unlike the newer version, which has probably morphed over time. And Pepsi, in reference to one of the ingredients that was in the original Pepsi. That's why I changed it to the, the Pepsi-Cola. Right. Kind of like Coca-Cola. That was one of the ingredients as well. You were telling me about the competition. It was a med medicinal, right? Medicinal. Yeah. Both medicines, yeah. Yeah. And this definitely has a medicine-y taste. Yeah, it does. It, now, it, regular Pepsi doesn't, but this flavor? My Pepsi. sinuses are cleared up. They're, they're, they're ready done. to go. They're I'm done. feeling good. Yeah. I think it's the sugar. That's true, too. This is real sugar. <laughs> no high fructose in this bad boy. See if you can taste the See if you can hear the enjoyment. Yeah. So that was our visit to Caleb Bradham's grave, the inventor of Pepsi Cola. Adam, thank you for letting me tag along. This was a lot of fun. I learned a lot. I've still You'll never drink a Pepsi. <laughs> I'm getting hyper now. <laughs> never, I just realized that. You'll never drink a Pepsi the same mm -mm -mm. again, not knowing that you were here standing here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sure. definitely getting a wild cherry Pepsi next time I get a Pepsi. I also like all their sugar free products, I think they're great too. I'm going to be, uh, I've consumed a lot of sugar today. Yeah, this is great. 
This is awesome. All right, we're up in New Bern, North Carolina. Like I almost said Connecticut. We're in New Bern. I think you say you say Newberry. Newberry? No, that's Newberry Springs, California. New. Somebody's gonna write in the comments. What am I thinking about when I'm thinking of Someone. something in Connecticut? Someone, Someone will know what I'm thinking about. Someone knows. Adam, thank you so much. All right, I got a can in my hand. Peace.